2017 Honda Civic. I'm gonna do a little vacuum experimentation and a micron gauge, and I'm gonna show you some differences. I hope I could take out the time to do at least two. I was trying for three, but I know I don't have time for that. So sis, uh, method number one, we're gonna use a very good vacuum pump with a very good vacuum rated three quarter inch silicone dedicated hose going to the vacuum pump to the manifold. But we're still gonna use everyday plain Jane yellow jacket, not the cheap eBay and Amazon ones. These are out of the yellow jacket, but I have a sheath coating over them for protection. That's why they look a little bit different. And we're gonna draw the vacuum and we're gonna measure it and how much time it takes. And then I'm gonna show you what the outcome is, the time, how deep the vacuum goes. And when shutting off the vacuum, I'm gonna show you the vacuum decay and where it goes to. Uh, this will probably be a couple part video cause I'll have to put it down and I gotta write the work order in between for this one for billing. So I gotta get, I do gotta get out of here cause I am kind of pressed for time, but I'm gonna do this experiment today. Today is today's video is a little bit of experimentation. Then we're gonna just take this one single hose and we're gonna put it on a fitting just one hose and we're gonna place the micron gauge this is a micron gauge just like this has a micron gauge in it we're gonna take the micron gauge that's normally located in here and you're reading the decay of the hoses and everything again we're gonna totally isolate that have no hoses on it and we're gonna put the micron gauge on one fitting and we're gonna pull vacuum completely on the other side of the system and you'll watch the vac the true vacuum actually pull down on the other side we'll shut it off and we'll watch the vacuum decay with with hoses first and then without hoses attached so that'll be probably the second video or third video or something like that so let's get this game on the road here show on the road um all right so we're gonna do this with both high and low open or no let's let's do the single one first we're gonna just pull vacuum through a standard little quarter inch hose on the low side and you'll see the vacuum on the low side go down first and then you'll slowly see the high side follow so let's get this show on the road and we got the vacuums right here this is off let's open up the vacuum remember we're going to go from vacuum to low side no high side first video there we go and you, and you can see the difference between the high side and the low side because we're pulling vacuum on the low side, not the high side. On the low side, it's having to pull through the expansion valve and then get over to the high side, pulling down the condenser, the compressor, and the liquid line before it registers. Now we just dropped into microns, and there we could start reading it over there too on the software. So let's graph this out now and watch over a period of time. Okay, you can see it grafting right there and coming down in big jumps. So this is through, and we'll do the same thing. We'll wait when we do uh, the two hose method. When, as soon as it goes into microns, we'll start recording so we could see the difference. And you got a time log that you could watch on YouTube. You could tell exactly when I opened up the valve and you could count your timer on the bottom of your screen if you wanna actually time from the very moment that I opened up the vacuum for this one hose combination through a quarter inch refrigerant line. Okay, as you could see, we're down to 327 microns and falling fast. And on the software, it keeps time. So here's zero minutes right here. Here's one minute, two minutes. I don't know if you could see that. There's a lot of reflection. Sorry about that in the screen. Three minutes, four minutes. And over a period of time, you can see how long. See, it says 270 microns right there. And as you notice, it went down really steep. But as time goes by, you notice it's not going, it's not following that straight down linear curve. It's starting to level out 
and you notice the little jumps, those little jumps right there, those little jagged edges. Well, they're not so jagged anymore as we're getting down here. Now, this was a system that I think I might have done the video on. It was just a recovery. They put a new condenser in there. It has a new desiccant material, a sock in the side of it. So it has new de desiccant, a new dry desiccant. I purged this thing with nitrogen and had it on a positive pressure when I did the recovery. So when the technician would open up the lines, moist, humid air, especially here in Daly City where it's like 92% humidity all the time, uh, doesn't get sucked in and contaminate. Then they throw on the new condenser that has the new desiccant. And so you're not seeing all these big jagged spikes jumping up constantly right here. Yeah, on a really wet system, you'd see a whole bunch of pops and you'll see them jumping up really jagged like teeth. This is smoothing out. Let's see where we're down to. We're down to 202 microns right there. So now we're going to turn off the vacuum source and we're going to allow the microns to stabilize a little bit and this is going to take a little time when i should be moving and getting out of here instead of doing videos but okay you see how fast it jumped up it went up to 865 microns and you see it jump right where i turned it off it jumped and we're at 878 microns but now do you see it starting to flatten out It's no longer going up so much. It's going up a little bit. 297 microns. 917 microns. And it'll slowly keep doing that because we pulled on one side and not the other side. So the two halves have to level out. What little moisture in the system and what little, this was a used system. So what tiny minute amounts of refrigerant is still stuck and trapped under the oil are also popping out of there. And that's accounting for the level coming up. But we also have your refrigerant hoses on here. So how many minutes are we going into right now? We're going into four minutes, just past four minutes right now. And remember, when I turned off, we're roughly 211, 202 microns. And we're now at 975 microns and just past the four minute mark. Now we're gonna repeat that same test. I'm gonna put down the camera. I'm gonna uh, throw some more nitrogen in the system. And we're gonna pull from two ports, the high side and the low side port simultaneously. And let's see if there's any time difference on how long it took to get down there. Now remember when we started here, we were at 295 microns, just a little after one minute. So let's find out what the two side does. So let me uh, close off the low side here. Let me do this again. Give a little mic, a little nitrogen right there. I'm gonna open up the high side, give it a little squirt. Okay, we're almost at zero. Hey, am I out? There we go, we're zero there. Oh, we're still a little negative, give it a little more. There we go, we're, we are zeroed out now. So now, let's start this over again. And let me go back and zero out of this. Clear, I wanna clear. Warning, you will clear. Yes, I clear. Okay, so now it should be cleared. We're starting from zero again. But this time, we are going to have high side and low side both open. So let's open up the high side. Let's open up the low side. Was that 290 some microns in just a little over a minute? Well, let's see what happens now. Now we have high and low side on there. Okay, one, two, three, go. And now we're doing both sides simultaneously at the very same time. Come on, where's our microns? 
there we go we just busted into microns so now it'll start reading over here there it goes there's the big drop as soon as it hits the microns it comes in and it is going down and you could literally watch its progress now remember we are pulling through quarter inch hoses that are used for refrigerant so they're never the cleanest best product to use they're made out of rubber they were not meant for deep vacuum and we are just starting to go over that one minute mark let's see where we are and we're at 518 microns and you can see a 441 so it's still pulling down let's wait until it gets down to that 440 and remember that list over one minute was actually longer because in this video unlike the other one I didn't start recording until it was already in the vacuum it hit microns over here and then I went over and I hit the micron to set up and start recording so now 378 microns and so this is becoming a long video we're going into 11 minutes 12 minutes coming up pretty soon so we're going to cut out here i'm going to wait to 295 microns or so and then I'm gonna repeat that process again and I'm gonna convert it over and I'm gonna just take off this one hose right here and I'm gonna hook up this hose right to the port and then hook the micron meter right to the back of the port of this fitting here and we're gonna do this again. All right, we hit 12 minutes and I know the YouTube algorithm doesn't like anything over 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes. They have some sort of algorithm. So I'll catch you on video number two on this when we're only using the high vacuum silicone vacuum rated hose only. And you could do this through two hoses too, but we're just going to do it with one because I don't have time to take another camera shop after this.